A lot of people ask me, how do I apply for a home loan? Well, it's kind of simple. It's today, it's so easy. I could send you an email and in my email is a little apply now button. Just hit that apply now button, fill out some basic information, I'll pull your credit report, and again, we'll see how much you qualify for. But then, what happens next? Today, we're gonna talk about what does happen next. The first thing you need to know is you're in good hands with a mortgage lender, especially a professional mortgage lender. So the first thing we do is once that application comes in, we should analyze that application, look at the income, look at the credit, make sure you qualify, and then ask you for certain documents to back up all this information. So I have a complete application on you and I can make a credit decision. It's so important when you're out buying a home that all of this is done so a lender could type something called a lender letter. It says, you've been pre-approved, I've reviewed your documentation, and you qualify for the home you're about to purchase. If you like this information, hit the like and subscribe button below. Again, I love doing these videos. I love educating you. It's really important to like and subscribe below. Next, what happens once your offer is accepted? This part gets critical. The first thing I do is I send your loan to my loan processor. The loan processor will look at it by underwriting it in their mind. Do I have updated statements? Do I have your paycheck stubs? Are they the updated ones or are they from way back a few months ago when you first started this process? We wanna make sure that everything is updated in the file. So there are several people that are gonna to touch your loan along the way. So they're gonna scrub your file by underwriting it mentally, getting it ready, making sure they ask you for anything that might need to be updated, and then submitting it to the underwriter. How long should that take? typically three to four days. It's a very quick process if you've turned in all your documents way back when, when your lender asked you to turn them in. After your loan gets processed and now it's in underwriting, the underwriter is the decision maker on this loan. They're gonna look at your file, make sure we have everything, look at the appraisal when the appraisal comes in, and they're gonna look at that file and make a credit determination. If they approve your file, again, they might say, we need one or two more things in this file. Again, my processor might call you and say, we need one or two more things. It is imperative that you get these items back fast because you have a contract, the contract has a timeline, and we wanna make sure that your loan is approved through our system quickly. After your loan is approved, here comes the good part, because after it's approved, pack your bags. It's something called clear to close. If a lender calls you, I call you, and they say, oh, your loan is clear to close, that means pack your boxes. You're ready to go. So what happens then? Throughout the United States, there's something out there called a closing disclosure. This thing's really important. A lender's gonna send you the closing disclosure, which looks just like your loan estimate. But the important part is you have to look at this and you have to sign that you received it electronically. Really important because it starts a clock ticking and it lets us know that you can close as soon as three days later, three business days later. After you sign this form, the next part is you're getting, getting closer to closing. They're gonna do something called a final closing disclosure. The final will have all your lender figures, all the credits from the seller. It'll have the most important thing though, how much cash you need for closing. If you're a first time home buyer, it might be just a little bit. If you're buying a multi-million dollar home, it could be a lot. But what's really important is that bottom line dollar. We wanna look at that, review this disclosure together on the phone to make sure everything looks accurate so you know how much to bring. Well, how do you bring that money to closing? You don't put it in a bag and carry it over your shoulder, that's for sure. What you do is you have to do a wire transfer from your bank to the title company, or you have to get a cashier's check payable to the title company. As long as you do one of those two things, your cash will be at closing. What happens after closing? You sign all your paperwork, next thing you know, the keys are in your hand. Another part that happens is your loan is sometimes transferred to another company for what's called servicing your loan. That's where you make your payments. So I might do a loan for you or another lender and I'll close the loan. It'll say Draper and Kramer on all your documents, but you might end up paying a different company down the road and that's okay. Those are loan servicers. They do that for a living. They service mortgages all the time. That's who you're gonna be making your payment to. But if you ever have a question, 
you could always call your loan officer or call me. Now that we're excited, we're already buying a home, right? We're going to closing. I want to make sure down below you're going to see a link and that's it for Draper and Kramer Mortgage where I work. But if you hit that link, we have loan officers all over the United States that can help you with your home buying process and get to that closing table and have that set of keys so you can move into your new home.